Hello guys, my name is Vic and I'm back to discuss more about EOS related articles. So for today I am going to share to you some websites in which you can exchange your EOS for airfare and also some news on EOS right so before we begin I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation to buy and sell EOS but you must always do your own research first before deciding for yourself okay so let's proceed Right, so here is the first website. It's called First Class Discount Air. Right, so as you can see, this website um, lets you input the this, the specific information about your flight. So the trip type of your flight. If it's a return, return with open jaw, a one-way, a multi-stop, and a round-the-world trip, class type. So if it's a first class, a business class, a premium economy, and an economy, the number of passengers, and of course, the destination. So outbound and return, and the exact dates. Okay. Of course, the flexibility, right? So you have to be accurate on this one, also. Okay, so you can see the sample pricing here, right? So that's the sample pricing. So that instead of five thousand two hundred cent from from Los Angeles to Sydney, you're just going to pay three. 1780 from London to Sydney instead of 5411 I'm just going to pay 4286 okay so isn't that cheap right so that is first class discount air so let's proceed so this is second website which is flyersminus.com so in this website there's also the form and also the button where you can chat instantly with the flight consultant okay so this is flyersminus.com let's proceed so the next is airwaymarket.com so this one is also um, um just like first class discount air where the form is most likely the same or you just choose the strip type the class type the destination inbound and outbound and of course the date plus the passenger numbers right so here's a statement stating mentioning that they accept eos as payment and of course the travel blog where you can find the travel tips okay so the payment methods and of course the payment info so that are the three websites wherein you can exchange your EOS for airfare right so let's proceed so this website is called preferred currency news so P cn dot today okay so this is the website and i'm going to show you the eos the top eos um, related articles so let's proceed so smart contract blockchain eos launches the link foundation okay right so let's close first this um all right so the launch has taken place to eradicate the cultural differences between the Eastern and Western bloc producers. 
Link Foundation a cross-border advocate for the crypto community. With an aim to foster a global community built around the mission of the EOS, the world's first governed blockchain, the EOS community has launched the Link Foundation, cross-border advocate for the crypto community. So what is EOS? EOS is a blockchain or EOS blockchain is a decentralized utility platform which can support industrial scale decentralized applications. So the aim of EOS is to build a decentralized blockchain that can process fast and free transactions. It will also allow smart contracts to be built on top of it, which will allow developers to release DAP or decentralized applications. In addition, EOS community also wants to build a platform that functions like an operating system, which will make it easier to, easier to use. Okay, so the key features of EOS. First one is measurability. Unlike other blockchains, EOS can process millions of transactions per second due to smart contracts. It uses DPoS, or Distributed Proof of Stake Consensus Mechanism, which can very easily compute millions of transactions per second amongst its competitors. Other smart contract blockchain platform Ethereum can only handle 15 transactions per second. Okay. <clears throat> the most common industries which will be benefited are social media platforms and the financial industry where the frequency of the transactions is the most. Okay, so the second one is flexibility. If a decentralized application is faulty, the elected block producers can freeze it until the system is taken care of. This is simply an extension of the DPoS system. Not every node has to take care of chain maintenance. So the next one is usability. So EUS allows well-defined levels of permission by including options that are Internet Toolkit for interface development, self-describing interfaces, self-describing information schemas, and a declarative permission theme. Okay. So governance. So the governance is maintained by establishing jurisdiction and choice of law along with the other mutually accepted rules. This is usually done via the legally binding constitution. Okay? So that is um, the first topic that I am I discussed or read. The smart contract blockchain EOS launches the Link Foundation. So the next one that is related to EOS is this one. So the top five crypto performers overview: Stellar, Ripple, Neo, Cardano, and EOS. So let's close this boxes first. So the views and opinions expressed here are solely those of the author and do not necessarily reflect the views of Cointelegraph.com. Okay. So every investment and in trading more involves risk. You should conduct your own research when making a decision. So the market data is provided by the Hit BTC Exchange. Okay, so let's move to EOS. Right, so <clears throat> or let's start with the first one, okay? So XLM. Right, so start from the beginning. Okay, on October 15, some market participants dumped stablecoin Tether as its CEO, who is also the CEO of Bitfinex. Based rumors of insolvency on both companies. Tether briefly lost its peg to the US dollar as the traders sold it and lapped up other cryptocurrencies, providing a temporary boost in the total crypto market capitalization to about 220 billion. However, 
After the initial frenzy, most digital currencies gave up their intraday gains and stabilized at lower levels. So though most of the top cryptocurrencies are stuck in a range, there are a few that are strong showing signs of bottoming out. Let's look at the top 5 digital currencies with a market capitalization of $1 million or more which have risen the most in the past 7 days so the first one is Stellar or XLM so Stellar has bagged the pole position by gaining the 15% in the past 7 days there were a couple of events that have helped it rise in the dollar market so rumors were making rounds that the new platform for institutional investors launched by the multinational financial industry heavyweight Fidelity will use XLM blockchain, blockchain rather, for moving digital assets. So, right. So the listing of XLM on the Coin Super Crypto Exchange has also been well well received by the investors. Another positive news was the an announcement of a partnership between Stellar and cryptocurrency exchange Hyperion, a subsidiary of the Canadian firm Global Blockchain Technologies. So. Can Stellar maintain its momentum or is it nearing critical overhead resistances? Let's find out. So, the XLM or USD pair topped out in the first week of this year at 0 0.98 dollars. And since then, it has been in a downtrend. It's currently trading inside a descending. Triangle which will complete on a breakdown and close below the support, right? So here that is um, stellar. So the next one is XRP, right? So it's also here. Okay, so let's proceed to EOS, alright? So here is EOS. So hackers have siphoned off 65,000 EOS from the operational wallet of EOS Bet. The gambling decentralized application. This is the second attack within 60 days, but the traders have shrugged off this news and the digital currency is up 3% in the past 7 days. Alright. So the EUS or USD pair has been trading in the range of $4.49 to $6.82 for more than 2 months. The positive thing is that the bulls haven't allowed the price to slip to the critical support at $3.87. Instead, they are attempting to farm a higher low at $4.49. Right? So that's here's a graph with the candlesticks. Okay, so it's really gaining from the downward trend. Right, same as um, Cardano. Okay, and also Neo and XRP. So that is the second topic, right? And the last topic that I'm going to discuss today is about this website. It's called preferredcurrency.news. So this website will get you notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies. So you're going to receive a newsletter filled with top with the top news and also the top cryptocurrencies brought to you by or analyzed to you by their publisher. Who is Donald the Guru? And you can also find in the newsletter some tips on how to claim, to claim some airdrops and some tutorials. All right, on uh, how to start investing or trading in cryptocurrencies. Right. So there are also there's a lot of links there in where you can um, also buy and sell using cryptocurrencies and also it will also um, there's also a section there where 
you can you will be informed of the affiliate program so you can also um, enroll here at the at their website right so here's the form of the affiliate program so once you fill out this form you will receive a confirmation in your email that you are already part of the affiliate program so once you're in you'll get you'll get the link at the creatives um, button or menu in the dashboard okay and you'll use that affiliate link to post it in different websites okay so to be part of this subscription all you have to do is just to um, register or subscribe at this website for $15 a month or $180 a year you can subscribe using EOS or other cryptocurrencies or you can subscribe using fiat right and also in this website is their YouTube channel so you can also subscribe at their YouTube channel so this is their YouTube channel right so feel free to um, subscribe at this channel and then watch all the videos there so Here's the here's um, their publisher who is Donald the Guru. Okay. Right, so this is preferred currency dot news. So I think that's all and guess I'm gonna see you in the next next video. So um, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. So bye bye.